Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and as you can see on the screen, we have some data, okay? And this is related to the earthwork calculation. So we are asked to work out the quantity of earthwork for a portion of road. The formation weight that is known, which is actually two meters, okay? Now the side slopes are one in one in cutting, okay? If there is cutting, the side slope can be one in one and for the filling that is 2 ratio 1 okay now the natural surface level those are given and the formation level are also given okay as you can see these are the stations okay you can say 0 30 okay these are in meters now the formation level those are 2 d. okay this is just the formation level if you can draw a you can say uh, the section of the embankment okay let me just draw it if i can do it where is it okay if this is the section of the embankment okay then as you can see, this is going to be the formation level. Formation level means the level of this point, okay, the level of the top. Now, this is NSL. As you can see, this is going to be NSL, okay? So these are given separately, okay? So simple, okay? Let's move ahead. Now, as you can see, the NSL and the formation level, those things are known. So what should be the quantity of earthwork for the same data for the same road, okay? We can use any method. The mean area method, the mean depth method, it is never mentioned, okay? So we will try this with mean depth method. And then in the next video, we will just try the same problem using mean area method, okay? There are other methods, you can say trapezoidal formula, you can also use prismodal formula, okay? No problem. Okay, let's just move ahead and we're gonna do it in a, you can say table, okay? Let's just say if we have RD, I'm gonna draw the table, little bit quickly it does not matter okay and then the formation level we have then NSL okay and then we're gonna calculate the depth you can say and then we're gonna have the mean depth just a minute so we have mean depth and then we're gonna have the the area okay which is maybe you can say central area okay let, let me just do it little bit quickly so you can understand that okay and then we have sides area and then we will add the total area you can say and then we will calculate the quantity, okay, maybe, okay, so simple. Now, as you can see, let me just have some, you can say, uh, the, the borders, so we can do it a little bit uh, easy, and you can say in short time, let's say this is the distance. Now, we have next the, the quantity, okay, just draw the same table, okay, it's so simple. Now, as you can see, we have the, the, the mean depth, the, the central area, this must be actually uh, BD, okay? I'm gonna show it a little bit late, does not matter how it can be BD, no problem. And then we can have uh, cut, maybe, we're gonna have fill, maybe. Now, as you can see, we, we are given side slopes. It means the section must be trapezium, okay? Like, if you see this one, okay, where is it? Again, I just, it's, it's, it's where is it? It's hidden, okay, for me. Okay, let me, let me, oh, okay, it's here, okay? So it must be a trapezium section, like this one, okay? So if this is the section, let me just make it a little bit like this style, okay? That means the side slopes are 2 ratio 1 for this and 2 ratio 1 for that side, okay? And then for the, the cutting, we have 1 and 1, no problem, okay? So data is clear. We're gonna move ahead for the calculation. As you can see, RD, those are given. Like you can say zero and 30, you can use Excel, okay, to, to make it a little bit quick. You can say, you can drag them, okay? Maybe up to 150D, because we don't have other things. We have only up to 150D RDs, okay? These are stations. Now the formation levels, those are actually two D for each, okay? This is the, the top level, you can say the top level, okay? Let me just uh, take my pen, okay? So I can show you how it's working. Now, if I just move to draw, as you can see, we're here, this 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 point, this is actually two fab D meters, okay? This is the formation level, you can say, okay? Because below this, this, this point, okay, you can say this line, this is just NSL, okay? No problem, okay? So we have formation level, and now NSL, those are just given, okay? You can say we have different NSLs. You can say this one, okay, for the station zero. I can just copy and paste them, okay? So quickly, 
So we we behave some some time. You can say, okay, let me just do it quickly like that. Okay, the final one. Okay, now as this is Excel, so I'm going to uh, remove the fill. You can say you can say no fill. All right. Now the depth. How can we calculate the depth? We're gonna subtract the the NSL from the formation level. Okay, you can say uh, formation level like like we're here formation level minus NSL. That's gonna give me the depth. Okay, so simple. So formation level minus NSL. That's gonna give me the depth. Now, what does depth mean? As you can see, if I just go to draw, the depth is actually this this thing. Okay, something like that. Okay. You draw, as you can see, this is going to be depth, okay? So simple. Now, as you can see, we're gonna have this calculation in short, okay? Like, you can say, we're gonna provide the, the Excel functionality, which is equal for any formula. And then as you can see, we have formation level, and then we will put the minus sign, and then we will specify the initial, and then press enter. As you can see, we're gonna just drag the formula to all cells. The same process okay you can apply it now the mean depth what's that what does mean depth mean actually we're gonna add the depths uh, for both stations you can say for two stations and then divide that by two so we can have mean depth for the two stations okay how it works let me just show you okay as you can see if we have this depth okay at one station for station zero and for station three we're gonna do it like you can say d1 plus d2 and then we're gonna divide those things by two okay so simple and now let's let's just move ahead okay now equal this station okay and plus this station now as you can see i forgot the the brackets okay we're here like this one and then we will divide the same thing by two because this is mean okay and let's just apply the same formula to all so we can do that in short uh, time okay Th this is what excel does okay and that's why i i love excel now the central area okay as you can see we have this now now let me show you what the central area means okay as you can see if it if it is a trapezium shape like this one okay now this is a trapezium shape okay let me fill it with the white okay now it's very interesting as you can see if if i just move to the the draw and as you can see here, uh, if I can split the same diagram, like the same thing, okay? At each side, we got, uh, you can say triangles, and this is called the central area, okay? See, area, no problem. And this is going to be, you can say BD. As you can see, it's been already written there, okay? No problem. That's capital over here, it's small, no problem. Okay, and, and B, that is actually the formation word that one that's also known which is actually two meters okay so simple so so we can just multiply b with d to have this central area okay this central area this is the central area now let me just change the color so i'm gonna show you the the sides okay now for the sides as you can see we we have two sides this side this must be as d squared divided by two okay and for the other side, like this one, this must be SD squared divided by 2. Okay, just remember these things. Let me just undo so we can move further. Okay, all right, now it's done. Now, BD, BD means equals the breadth that is known 2. Okay, as you can see, it's been written over here. Okay, that's 2 meters. Okay, wide, the formation width. Now, 2, and we will multiply that with the, 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 the mean depth. Okay, and then press enter. And let's apply the same formula okay so simple now sides area i mean for one side and another side those are triangular portion okay if you remember a few seconds ago i have been showed them okay sd squared divided by two okay let's just provide sd squared divided by two now remember divided by two that is just the same thing is 0 0.5 okay and we will multiply that with actually sd squared now is that is actually the side slope okay that is 2 okay and then we will multiply this with the the depth okay which is the main depth this one and as you can see the mean depth that's gonna have square okay and then we will close the bracket okay let's apply the same formula now as you can see 
the the side slope for the both sides that's the same is 2 ratio 1 okay and why I'm taking 2 ratio 1 why not 1 ratio 1 because it's all about filling okay we're gonna have filling for the same earthwork and how can I know that as you can see the depths okay those are positive values okay depths are positive if you subtract any cell from formation level as you can see the formation level is just more than the any cell that means it's all about filling okay there is no cutting so I can, cannot use one ratio one slope okay we will just use two ratio one because it's filling okay and as you can see for both sides it is the same side slope so we can just apply the same formula over here okay and as you can see we, we can just change this video to the mean depth okay because the same videos can be applied if you are familiar with excel it's nothing to you okay now let's add these three okay over here because this is the total area okay we're going to use the summation functionality okay that's done now we're going to apply the same formula okay as you can see it's been done now this is the total area now the distance as you can see it's 0 30 60 it means the interval is just 30 okay 30 meters it means the distance between two stations that is just 30 meters okay now as you can see we we are already familiar we already know that this is filling okay from the depths because you can see these depths are positive videos you can say okay so we're gonna have formula in the filling only so equals and we will just multiply the total area with the distance okay because the quantity is the volume and the volume means area times the length okay so this thing now we apply the same formula to all as you can see these are filling for the same road okay now the total filling you can just calculate that by you can say total filling and just add these things okay by using the summation uh, feature or functionality okay so it's 1144.58 uh, you can say 58 cubic meter this is the earth work okay and it's already been calculated just uh, by me over here as you can see it is the same video okay so nothing is just wrong with the same calculation okay so this is this is how we can use mean depth method okay as you can see we have used mean depth in the next video we're gonna have the same calculation using the mean area method see you in the next video and make sure you follow engineer boy for more videos